the silver gold ratio says now might be the time to buy bullion silver. Hey guys, my name is Numi, and in this very ordinary, plain-looking brown box is something really rather special. And uh, you're going to see it in a minute, and uh, this might be a YouTube first, because this particular coin has only just um, been released, and so this must have been one of the first deliveries from AppMax. Um, but the coin that I'm bringing you is part of the Queen's Beasts range of coins. And if you've been following my channel, you'll have seen me send a whole load of proof Queen's Beasts to be graded. But although they are magnificent and expensive, um, the ones that I've been collecting myself are actually the bullion coins. So this coin is in the bullion Queen's Beast range. And one of the nice things about the bullion coins is really the premiums are very, very low which means that they do represent uh, an excellent value. And with the silver gold ratio being uh, very, very weighed at the moment in favor of silver for the first time in a while, um, a lot of you guys are buying silver. And the best silver to buy in this kind of time is going to be bullion silver. I personally don't like just ordinary rounds or things like American silver eagles, but I do have a good feeling about this one. So this is the 10 ounce bullion red dragon. And this is the third in the 10 ounce coin series as part of the Queen's Beasts. It can be very difficult to keep up because um, the proof and the bullion are being released at different intervals. They don't very often uh, kind of get released at the same time. Although the Black Bull of Clarence was actually released in proof and bullion pretty much at the same time. And uh, of course, there is no 10 ounce black bull yet. And up to today, there hasn't been a red dragon either. So they have the lion, the griffin, then this one, which is the third, which is the red dragon. And uh, possibly the unicorn will be next and then the bull. Uh, but they uh, these run a little bit behind the regular releases that you'll have been seeing for the Queen's Beasts. The particularly nice thing about this is it's very good value for a 10 inch coin. It is produced beautifully. It's, um, you know, if silver goes right down, then you can use this, um, you know, round the table in order to put your glasses on as a little, uh, you know, talking point. And, uh, and I think Actually, they've done a great job with this. I think the quality is very good. Uh, the design is very good. Particularly the red, the red dragon is actually a really, really nice design. Um, I think the griffin and the dragon in particular have been great. Um, people say the bull is slightly less detailed. Um, I, I quite like the bull as well. It's just different. Uh, and the next ones, I guess, will be different again. But um, these are out. They are available. This one came from Atmex, but they're probably available for many other places. Uh, so if you do want to collect this series, I don't think it's worth hanging around. I think just add one of these. Um, it's pretty much, you know, I think they're around about $200. So really they're actually a very low premium coin for, uh, for this type of coin, legal tender coin from uh, the Royal Mint um, in a capsule. Uh, I think they've done a great job on this. Um, I think sometimes there are little marks on the Queen's face on these coins. I'm not sure whether this one is actually totally perfect, but these are bullion coins. These are not minted to proof standards. They're not kept separated at all times. So providing it looks reasonable, then, you know, in my view, I'm going to keep this one. I think it looks good. Uh, I've got each of the other two, and I think one of them I graded and got a 69, uh, which was a nice grade, but I haven't graded any of the others yet. I'm no, in no particular rush. Um, I'm quite happy to just buy one of each uh, when they come out and try not to forget them as they come out. So 
this certainly is something I would recommend and I like myself and I buy for myself. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, are you also buying the 10 ounce, um, the 10 ounce Queen's Beast bullion coin? If you're not buying it, are there any other 10 ounce coins that you are buying that you think are a better bet at the moment than this particular coin? 